do your best to get there. Um, it might take some time, it might take a lot of effort, maybe some frustrated tears when you get stuck, but nothing worth doing was ever easy. So I was thinking about the history of this channel. When this channel started, I had just gotten done with a year of full-on intensive coding. That was at the end of 2019. My first ever video, I was just sitting there, talking to the camera, new to the game, not knowing what's to come. And it's been nothing but ups and downs, but that's life. It's been ups and downs since I got my first job to where I'm at now. New apartment, new car, mental health is better. But when I decided to learn how to code, it was the end of 2018 and I was going through it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was, my mental health was bad. I was broke. I was getting by on making vlogs and making whatever AdSense money I could get was just pumped into my next month. Now up until then, I had been doing YouTube full time and I've been making videos since I was 12. So I was just figuring life out. But just because you do something full time doesn't mean you're financially successful. Just because you're doing something you love and it's your passion or was your passion does not mean you are going to be happy all the time. And when I decided to go into coding, I just needed to do something completely different. I needed it to be challenging and I needed it to just make me money. <laughs> Fast forward four years. That was at the end of 2018, so let's just call it the beginning of 2019. So fast forward four years, my math is right. Everything is way better than I could ever expect. My mental health is, I just spent my first year being happy. I travel now, I get to enjoy my friendships, I get to spend money on things I like or might not even care that much about, but I'm interested in. I actually get to enjoy life. Things turn out pretty well. So it got me thinking, what kind of video can I make to really just motivate or show you guys, you know, what kind of changes you could expect to have in your life if you try to learn how to code. Um, the things that some people might not talk about, or maybe they have, I just haven't seen the video, but here's my version of it. In terms of getting into coding, a lot of people think that you have to be this genius and you have to be deeply passionate and obsessive about it. And at that time when I was getting to it, I just needed something. I just needed something different. I had touched coding before, but never committed to it. So there's this quote that I heard recently that says, it's ironic that being broke is expensive. When you had to work a certain type of job or you're in a certain type of scenario, most people in the world have to give more and more of their time for less money, you know? And my goal at some point was to give less of my time for more money. Because time is the only thing you can't get back. You give more of your time away easily, it becomes expensive because now you don't have time for yourself, your family, your friends, your, your passions, whatever the case is. There's this myth that people say you, you shouldn't get into coding for money. That's dumb. There's a thousand and one jobs. Why is coding the one thing that we have to be obsessive and love to get into? If you are smart enough or you're motivated enough to get into coding, do it. If you know you just don't like working, but you're gonna have to, you might as well try to make yourself work in a higher income field than suffering through something else that takes more and more out of you. For me, trading less of my time, just working or trying, just trying to survive, whether it's making videos and thinking there's some type of deadline or working for a client or something like that, and just getting little and little amounts of money, um, just, it's given me an opportunity to get my time back and literally the mental health that I've been struggling with for all these years, and granted, just because I got my first check as a software engineer doesn't mean my mental health issues went away, uh, doesn't mean my depression, anxiety, whatever went away, but that gave me a chance over the next couple years to unwind, figure out what works and what doesn't work, figure out what triggers me and what doesn't, figure out what makes me happy aside from making content. Having money has given me a chance to just breathe. You know, I'm not some rich person, but for a single 27 year old, living alone, I'm doing pretty well. I don't have kids, I don't have, I'm chilling, it's just me and my dog. There's something that really sat with me when I got into tech. Like I, I really like started realizing I don't have to worry about certain things, but one thing that really affected me is realizing that just picking this profession or just learning this skill is gonna give me a chance to drastically adjust the trajectory of my life. Now granted, any tiny thing can adjust the trajectory of your life, but I'm saying this job or just, just this field is going to be able to open so many doors for me. Learning how to code has showed me that I could decide I, I wanna be the guy who just makes tiny projects and sells them. I wanna work at a big company and just stay there for the next 20 years. I want to just 
trial and error, try to start company after company after company till something works, money or not, whatever the case is, I learned a skill that's gonna be able to open those doors for me. I could approach life or increase the difficulty, reduce the difficulty, depending on what I want in that point of time in my life. My favorite thing that I notice about this whole tech career situation is the fact that it gives me a chance to be creative. I get to be creative at work, but more importantly, I have more energy to be creative outside of work. Um, again, your job is not your life. There's no way we're built to work for someone for five days and only enjoy two days out of it. So. Some days I might get done with work early, some days I might not, but I get to adjust my schedule for my day depending on how I want because most good companies, if you're a good company, you don't have a manager just bearing over you. They just trust you to get your work done by the end of the sprint, the week, whatever the case is, and that you're doing your best, you know? And they also, from I've, maybe I've been lucky, but they also understand that programmers don't just sit there for however and just figure everything out. Like sometimes you just gotta sit on an issue, walk around for a bit. They understand that, they respect that. I've, I've had managers and fellow software engineers who literally block off a time in their calendar saying focus time or saying mental health time. I used to work with someone who used to say, oh, this is the time I'm gonna do yoga every morning. Don't schedule meetings. It gives you a time to just like, actually take care of your brain. And for me, when I do that, it lets me be more creative in all aspects of my life. Before I used to make content, I used to be so worried about, oh, I need to upload this so I can get this AdSense check by then. I need to find a sponsor. I need to make whatever sponsor sends me an email. I need to make content for them. It doesn't even matter. Now I had to think about creativity. I could sit on things longer to make them better instead of just pumping them out because I need to survive. Survive is a very dramatic word now. I live with my mom, like, but we get what you mean. When you're trying to make something of your, survive, I didn't need to survive, survive. There's a cool thing that a lot of companies do now where or the companies that I've worked for in my career so far that they care about what trajectory you're trying to, you know, take in your personal life. Uh, and professional. When I when I grew up, I used to think that you know most corporate jobs or most big company jobs or high income jobs, they, all they care about is what you could do for them. Um, I'm genuinely surrounded by teams, or I've worked with teams where they care about how the work that you do here is going to affect you at your next company or whatever startup you want to create or whatever the case is. They want to lead you there. So if I tell my managers. I want to learn this skill because I, I'll feel better at this. I want to take on more responsibility. I want to lead a project, whatever the case is. They will adjust my work life to fit that goal. If that person or professional life intersect in some way, they you easily talk to them about it and they can adjust for that too. Um, I've been lucky enough to work in those situations. For me, at least so far, I felt that everything that I've learned so far can be directly pushed towards my future. And I know generally that's how it goes, but after my first job, my first, my very first job, I genuinely walked away like this benefited me in no possible way. No skill, no nothing, like I couldn't transfer it anywhere. I had bad management. Um, I was the only software engineer on this team. Uh, <laughs> you guys already know the drama if you guys were there back then. Um, but I've made sure to join companies who actually care about you and care about your, your future in, in a way and pay you. My first startup just stopped paying me, if you guys remember that. That was, that was fun. And look, I get it. Some people just simply don't care about coding. But the beautiful thing about tech is there's many other fields out there in tech that will make you money. And if you're smart about your career, will push you to, you know, making a shit ton of money. There's stock grants. There's, there's people who become millionaires just off of working for a company long enough because stocks and if you're like me i love to try my best to shoot for a company that is working directly in something that i'm interested in i work for a company that directly helped influencers with credit cards um that's what i needed at a time you know that's that's literally a problem that i dealt with as someone who was a content creator if you love mental health if you for some reason love the car industry if you love i'm struggling with ideas right now but Damn near everything that you might have an interest in, I promise you, there is some little startup, big company, whatever the case is, already making a product for it that you could directly work in. Just like life, everything is trial and error, but if you decide to, you know, I want to be in tech, I want to really pursue this, and I genuinely think you should just start 
it was a baby step and the next baby step and the next baby step because me four years ago almost four years ago could not imagine how far i would come i did not have this in my mind now i'm in a different position where i was like where what where is the next four years going to go for me so figure out what field you want what type of role you'd want and just do your best to get there um, it might take some time, it might take a lot of effort, maybe some frustrated tears when you get stuck, but nothing worth doing was ever easy. Thank you for clicking on this video, by the way. I know I've been gone for a long time, but just please like the video, subscribe. I want to be back. Um, I just didn't have anything to say for a while. Now I feel like I do. I have a plan. Let's see if I can do it. Support. Enjoy the video.